Hey everyone, welcome back to my garage. My name is Paul and tonight we are going to change out the belt on this central machinery or Harbor Freight uh, belt and disc sander. All you're going to need for this is a 14 millimeter um, crescent wrench or box end wrench is fine and a Phillips head screwdriver. So the first thing we're going to do is come around right in here. This is our screw that determines the pivot. So we're going to loosen this because it'll be a lot easier if we do this with the whole thing facing up. So now we can pivot the whole thing upwards. Next go ahead and release the tension lever here. So now your, your belt is just kind of flopping loose there so that we won't have to fight that. Alright, then we've got this guy right here that holds the guard on. I'm going to remove that entirely. I believe this is the only bolt that we have to worry about. And then it's on to uh, screwdriver parts. So we'll go ahead and take these two off. There's another one up here. Here, here, and then there's two on the other side as well. The bottom's not going to come off yet because we still have this shroud down here. It's connected to the shroud. This is what wraps back around. So all we have to do is take these two screws out. Now our plate comes out. We still need to get this shroud off. So all it is is um, these top screws here that are basically the other side of the shroud that we just took off. Okay, now we can take this guard off. You could take these screws out back here to get this shroud off entirely, but I think we can do what we need to do here. Okay, there it is. When you put the new belt on, the direction is important. It says right in here, it needs to go that way. So we need to make sure that we do that correctly. Just get it roughly centered because we're gonna have to adjust the tracking, just like you do on any new belt. And then all we do is reassemble it. And this is where you're going to set the height for your guard as well. So you kind of want to pay attention to where this is going to end up. Tighten it down and then over here on the other side, I like having mine down at a 90 degree angle so I'm going to put mine back there. Tighten up this angle bolt here with a nut rather that's on there. So now it's nice and tight. And then the last thing is we're just going to flip our tension back on and then you just turn it on and adjust your tracking again with this guy here if you guys want to see how that's done let me know in the comments I'll make a video on that that's super easy and uh, you're all set so even with making a video this took about 10 minutes maybe so you can do this in about five minutes of your own time so thanks very much hope you guys enjoyed this quick video